All right, third grade. If you're still weaving, go ahead and keep weaving. Um, just have it done by the end of the year, by like next week, have it turned in so that I can have my grades done in time. And I'm gonna show you something really fun um, that you can do that's art and fun and science. Um, so for this one, you're gonna need some bubbles, a bowl, a shallow bowl, um, some food coloring, a straw, and some card stock works best. I just happen to have some cards that I cut down to a small size, like postcard size, so that I can lay them across my bowl. Okay, so we're gonna do some bubble painting or bubble printing. I'm gonna take some bubbles and I have a giant jug. I'm going to pour some bubble mix into my bowl and then I'm going to mix in a little food coloring to make them colorful. So I put in three blue and I'm going to do one, oh, two green I guess. Okay, and then we're going to mix them. Ready? Just going to use my straw I guess. Mix them up really well. I wanted to get a turquoise color. This is kind of dark. And it's looking good. Okay, so I've got this really pretty turquoise color happening. You may need to stir a little bit to get them mixed up well. That bubble mix is pretty thick. Okay. And add a little bit more blue. I want it to be slightly more blue. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting more of like that turquoise color I'm looking for, that those jewel tones, that emeraldy bluish green. Okay, now the important part for, the, for this is that we blow bubbles. We don't ever drink the bubble mix. Okay, that we're getting bubbles. So I'm gonna take my straw now and I'm going to blow bubbles into my bubble mix. And then I'm going to take my paper and put it on top of the bubbles. And you can see that I get these lovely little patterns. So I'm going to do it again. Let that one dry. Maybe I'll go a little bit darker even. Oops. I'm gonna mix this up, see if I can get a darker bubble print. Cause this looks pretty, but it's very pastel. Maybe we can stir it this way. Okay, now I like to tip my bowl a little just to make sure that I can really get into the thickest part of the bubble mix. Blow by bubbles, and then you just lay your card across them. Ah. Oh, that one was much nicer. We're gonna let that dry. I wonder if I go even girder, what that, what that will look like. This is one of those projects where it's really about the process, not the product, because you can do anything with that product. Okay, try one more time. I have nice little bubbles this time. I'm going to try one more time. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that. That bubble print came out great. I even got a couple of extras. I still have some bubbles in there, so I'm going to try to reprint this one. It came out nice. All right, try it out. See what you can do. See what comes out on yours. And we can see that obviously the smaller bubbles with the more ink or the more food dye worked better than the bigger bubbles with less dye. So um, I hope that you have fun with this little art and science experiment and let me know what you think.